okay students so the new chapter is motion and time so what are the first let us see what is motion okay so generally we observe different type of objects around us isn't it like some are some stays in rest like they won't move some moves isn't it so some will be in motion and some will be rest like example trees are there okay houses so these are at rest so they won't move then uh, the remaining ones like flying birds next uh, um, cars vehicles like you can simply uh, call it as vehicles so they are in motion so motion means so what is motion so per see the definition of motion motion is change in position of an object with time motion is change in position of an object with time understood so suppose let us consider an object is here initially okay initially an object is here so after some time it came to here okay it moved okay so irrespective of the motion how it moved whether it has gone in a straight line or whether it has gone in any zigzag zigzag manner or any circular manner that doesn't matter so it is moving isn't it your object is moving irrespective of the movement how the object is moving change in position initially the object is here now it change its position from here to here okay so this change in position with the time is called as what motion. students motion motion okay here we won't consider how they move just we will check that whether it moved or not so it changed its position or not so that is motion okay and this motion can be it can be a straight line it can be in any way and uh, circular it can be circular or periodic also you can tell so these are the kinds of motion and we will discuss motion yes 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 we will discuss all these in detail there are many kinds of motion just i'm giving the introduction now okay so in physics we are going to study about this chapter so in uh, see physics explains about lot of things okay so particularly the study of motion of an object in the physics is called as mechanics so the branch of physics the branch of physics which deals with the study of motion of of the object it is called what students mechanics mechanics is a branch in physics it deals with study of motion of the object clear yes yes so ma'am mechanics again this mechanics branch is again classified into three categories one is static statics second is kinematics and third is dynamics so these are the three terms students that has to keep in your mind these are the very 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 important topics wherever you go you will come across these three terms one is statics other is kinematics next is dynamics okay so we know that 
object is moving, right? So initially, the object will be at rest, right? So statics is the one which deals with study of object at rest. Which, let me change other color. Which deals with study of object at rest. It is called statics. Clear? Now the object is moving. From the rest position, object is moving. That branch is called as kinematics. So kinematics, which describe the motion. Okay. So I said you the object is moving. So it can move in any, like we are applying force or it is moving automatically. Uh, whatever the cause. So it, uh, kinematics won't deal with the cause. Just it will deal with the motion of the object. So which describe the motion without going into cause of motion. Understood? Yes, ma'am. So if the object is at rest, which deals with that? Statics. Okay, next object is moving. It is explained in kinematics. Coming to the dynamics, along with the study of motion, so how it is moving, the cause is also taken into consideration in case of dynamics. Okay? So deals with Study of motion of the object by taking into account force which cause motion understood yes ma'am understood yes ma'am so which deals with the object at rest is statics and kinematics deals with the motion uh, with the object which is in motion but not on the cause but whereas dynamics it deals with the study of motion of object as well as the force which is making that particular motion. It is called dynamics. So these three comes under the branch of physics itself. Okay. Now, suppose student, uh, let me ask you a question. How can you tell that object is at rest? Ma'am, like the object would be not moving. Ma'am, like it would be in a place. It How can move. you tell? By seeing with our eyes. Okay, the object is moving then? Then we could say that uh, uh, like the object is in the motion. Suppose I am traveling in the train. Okay, and the trees, everything, they move. Then who is traveling? Ma they don't is move, ma'am. They are, ma'am, trees don't move, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, we, we are moving, ma'am. We are not, moving. According to us, yes, whenever we see, we will see that trees are moving, right? Yeah, ma'am, but actually it is us. Then are we moving or trees are moving? You said ma by seeing with our eyes. Yes, ma'am. Ma we are moving, ma'am, because when Then the how, with, uh, if I see with my eye, Trees are moving, right? Then, yeah, ma'am. But if outside, so always a object is, ma'am. But because of the vibration of the train, we could uh, we could sense it like we are moving, ma'am. Really? Yes, we are moving, right? We are moving, and the yeah. trees are at constant position. 
Some are good for us it looks like the trees are running and we are in a still position, ma'am. But for a man outside, they see us at rest, like we are resting. And so generally, how can we tell that object is at rest or at motion? First, we will compare with the surroundings. With respect to the surroundings only, we can tell whether we are moving or not. Got it? Always surroundings has to be taken into consideration. Surround is moving. It means we are rest. Understood? Yes, ma'am. An object is in motion. That means with respect to the surroundings, which is at rest, it means change in position with respect to surroundings. So whatever. Okay, so write the thing here, important one, an object in motion is the one that changes its position with respect to its surroundings. Yes, we are telling that the object is motion. How initially in the particular surrounding it is at certain point and later it was at certain point. We are comparing with that of surroundings. Yes. Next. Yes, ma'am. The, ma the tree is also in a motion, right? If we uh, plant a sapling, it would... students generally trees will move. No, ma'am. It grows right, ma'am. It like then. Ma'am, it like uh, if bush, like uh, like a pumpkin or a watermelon uh, creeper, like it would be like it's moving, uh, like it would grow, right? It would uh, spread it, spread everywhere. Yes. Like that, it would be in motion. So motion means changing its position, students. Initially, it is at certain positions, and see. You are telling about watermelon that is in the, that is growing, not in motion. Is it changing its position? It is growing itself. Mom is becoming bigger. Yes, it is becoming biggest, but it will stay at its position, right? Yes, ma'am. Particularly, see the definition once. What it was mentioned: change in position of an object with the time. Yes, that does not change its position with respect to surroundings. With respect to surroundings, if the object is in motion, it changes position. With respect to the surrounding, if the object is in rest, it will be at that particular position only. Isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Suppose, see, surroundings are constant. They won't move. Suppose I'm staying on a particular land. I was moving. It means I was changing my position, right? And I was at rest. It means I was, I'm not changing my position. That's what this point tells us. So everything we will uh, um, compare with respect to the surroundings. Now, next important point is rest and motion are relative. So what does it mean? Rest and motion are relative. Okay, suppose an object is moving. Okay, for uh, one observer told that object is moving. Okay, same object for other observer, it is at rest. So how can it possible students? 
so they are telling that rest and motions are not related suppose a person is sitting inside a bus ma'am like the bus is moving the person is not moving okay so see uh, a person is sitting inside the bus so there are fellow passengers along with him okay the one uh, the other ones which are seated along with him and the ones which are at outside okay bus is moving now tell me how many situations you can imagine here ma'am like the bus is in motion hmm and the people in the bus are in rest yes and that's but what the outside passenger thinks that they were moving right yes, yes ma'am they are moving but uh, inside passengers are at rest yes ma'am so did you understand the concept here how rest and uh, motion are related to ma'am ma'am ma um, only something uh, in inside sub inside the thing which is in motion yes Then always the, always we will compare with one so relative means we will compare always so if one is in motion other is rest but how it looks like they are in motion only yeah ma'am so can i give an example ma'am hmm ma'am now you are sitting in your car and going you see an old man sleeping ma'am you will think he is moving ma'am but actually from his uh, um and you will think you are in rest but from his person perspective ma'am he is at rest and you are at movement ma'am yes so like you can take example of a, a fan how it rotates yeah okay everything comes under this category next concept types of motions so we are telling object is moving so how many kinds types of motion um direct linear motion periodic motion yes. circular so motion. first kind is random motion mam mm hmm Ma'am, this random motion, ma'am. Random means moving uh, like randomly, like there is no particular path of movement. So, like you can tell simply. Let me show you an example for random motion. Ma'am, how like butterflies flows to a uh, flip students. Yes, ma'am. Like it's like uh... there won't be any particular path, right? Can you see here? Will they maintain can... any particular path? No, ma'am. But uh, like uh, ants would maintain a particular path. They they yeah, will yeah. They will move. Uh, there is no specific path. Ma'am, this motion is not having no specific path. That kind of motion is called as random motion. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Example, you can tell motion of butterfly. Which I showed you, ma'am. Okay. Next, uh, uh, motion of kite. How kites uh, flip, students? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So the next one, next motion is translational motion. so what is translational motion so it will follow us uh, generally translational motion is classified further like rectilinear motion so let me write rectilinear motion and curvilinear motion yes ma'am rectilinear mo motion would follow the straight line ma'am yes ma correct curvilinear motion would follow will follow the, the curve the curvilinear motion would go in a curve yes curvilinear means it moves in like a curve whereas other motion is circular motion all these three are included in translational motion 
okay so rectilinear means if a body is moving in a straight line that kind of motion is called rectilinear motion you can simply call also there would be rectilinear motion is also line. called as linear motion yes so see the rectilinear motion here examples it is moving in a straight line so if you are pushing the box it is moving okay falling of tree always in a straight line and yes. the marching we will follow a particular ma path right ma'am ma and yes so they follows a particular uh, straight line then it is called rectilinear motion coming to curvilinear motion Curvilinear Ma means uh, Ma if a body is moving. Suppose a body is here and it is moving in a curve. So like this, it is moving Ma in a curve. Of electric current, ma'am. What? Ma'am, like of electric current. What electric current? Ma'am, ma the flow of electric. Rectilinear current. propagation of uh, light, ma'am, would also come under rectilinear motion. Which one? Ma'am, 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 ma'am. Ma'am, the example of uh, rectilinear or uh, ma ma linear motion can be rectilinear propagation of uh, light, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. Ma'am, ma'am. So for ma rectilinear motion, we can take the example of a moving car, a bus, pushing a box, marching of students, everything, whichever following, like uh, you can consider train, motion of the train. Ma'am. Hmm? Ma'am, the flow of electri electricity, ma'am. Ma'am, from one positive terminal to the negative. Ma'am, I think this is circular motion because, because uh, the... It's curvilinear motion. It can go like any... In, in, any manner. in curvilinear ah, motion, so the object it is following a particular curve here. Okay, object is moving in a particular curve. Whereas circular motion, a body is moving in a circular so it Only reminds a circle it, path. Yeah, it remains in a fixed point. Here the point is fixed and it is moving. Bike and cycle, ma'am. They are all going. Ma'am, like the because of the, yep. the thread radius is same, so that it would come in a circle, ma'am, not oval, ma'am. So it would be circular motion, right? Who said oval? No, ma'am. Like if, if the radius of the Thread is same, right? So it would be in a circle. If we, uh, if we like rotate it, the radius would be same, ma'am. Like the, it would be in a circle. So why you are bringing radius concept here? No, ma'am, because so this everything is not... works here. Acceleration and everything don't go much detail. Just we are speaking about the definitions. Circular motion okay. means it is moving in the form of circle. Okay. Uh, the object, see, it remains at a fixed point at the same distance and it is rotating. Okay, for curvilinear motion, you can take example of uh, a car moving on a curve and curve road. So, car moving on a curve road. Whereas, circular motion, uh, you can take example of ceiling fan. Okay, rotation of earth around the sun. Everything comes under this category. Yes, ma'am. See, circular means it, it is not mandatory that it should be in a sphere or it should be in a oval. Circular means the ending and starting point, whatever it is revolving, uh, the distance remains the same and at a fixed point. So that you have to uh, take uh, into consideration. Okay. Ma'am, but the moment the... of ma'am, but moment of earth around the sun is periodic motion, right? Is it periodic motion? Yes, ma'am. No. No, it is because it moves. No, periodic motion. Let me explain. That also comes. Circular means, as I told you, the distance object remains at the same distance. Okay, so right, uh, you can write here circular motion means. 
Ma'am, the car wheel of a car, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, correct. Body, ma'am, in a circular ma part. Ma'am, also wheel of a pottery machine, ma'am. Can you speak loudly? Ma'am, the wheel of the pottery machine. Yes, correct. So body moves in circular path. Um, the object remains the same distance from a fixed point. Ma'am, to prove this, ma'am, uh, ma'am, you can uh, me get a video of a tire moving, ma'am, and you can place one uh, dot and one line, ma'am. You will see that line will go in a circle, um, ma'am. Sorry, I can't hear you. So clear with circular motion, students. See, I yes. think um, yes. I can uh, hear yes. the remaining student voices except you. Uh, you can type your message in the chat box. You just take okay, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, so uh, circular motion is uh, when the object moves See, in a circular in translational motion, we are discussing three categories. That is rectilinear motion, curvilinear motion, and circular motion. Okay, so till now, two kinds of motions we have discussed. One is random, next is translational, next comes is rotational motion. Okay, later I'll give you a tree chart, don't worry for this. Next one is rotational motion. So what is rotational motion? Actually in rotational motion, whole body moves uh, about an axis. It is called rotational motion. So ma example, rotation of earth. Ma'am, the rotation uh, of Ma'am, and also ma'am, the axis of fan also. See, it fan, gets... there is a fixed point and the uh, fan we have discussed in circular motion. Yes, ma'am. In fan, whole body won't uh, revolve, right? Yes, ma'am. The whole body won't move. Ma'am, so it can't come under rotational motion. Sorry? Ma'am, so it can't come under the, the this motion. See, that's what rotation. I mentioned particularly. In circular motion, object remains the same distance from the fixed point. Like fan in the center, there will be the motor in the center and the uh, and I'm in the and on the blades ma'am yeah blades are moving right yes, so in case of rotational motion whole body moves about an own axis like earth earth what it moves it moves around its own axis and it revolves around the sun yeah yeah right? yeah ma'am yeah, ma yeah, ma that's what so motion in which a whole body move about an axis. It is called rotational motion. Examples are what students? Motion, motion of a top. Earth. I think everybody have idea of top. Mm. Ma'am, what oh. is this? Um... Rotation of earth. Motion of top. Yeah, ma'am, I don't understand. You know, that. top, what is motion? Let me show you picture. Everybody knows it, but uh, you don't know that it is called a stop. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, even a blade blade. Yes, yes, correct. Then yeah. it would be same like a blade, okay? Bangaram in Telugu. Bangaram. Bongaram or something. I don't yes, okay. ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I thought this mango. You know this? Yeah, ma'am. Ma so, this comes under the category of rotational motion because it is rotating, whole body is rotating. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next motion is periodic motion. Ma'am, ma'am, the a good example for periodic. Ma'am, ma'am, ma 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 it is simple pendulum, ma'am. Yes, yes. Ma'am, I think everybody have idea of pendulum in the wall clocks. Yes, ma'am. 
so let us revise once again what are the motions we have discussed till now how many kinds motions students types of motions let me draw tree chart for you and tomorrow i'll ask you the definitions ma'am random motion first one random motion random motion translatory motion translational motion ma'am ma'am and under translational motion uh, there comes the rectilinear and curvilinear yes yes translational next is here rotational rotational circular motion right let me draw four kinds random motion next translational motion ma'am rectilinear curvilinear motion ma'am ah in that we will write again next one is rotational motion rotational motion and periodic motion next periodic motion yes ma'am ma'am transition okay so in translational motion we have discussed about three kinds one yeah. is rectilinear motion linear motion curvilinear motion curvilinear motion and circular and circular motion circular motion and circular, circular motion, motion. whereas in case of periodic motion we have discussed about oscillatory oscillatory species. motion oscillatory ma motion ma 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 hmm. why did you not include uh, uniform and uh, non uniform motion ma'am okay so actually in case of uniform and non uniform motion what you are going to study students that we will like uh, later uniform means the so it depends on the distance it depends upon so the distance ma'am ma yeah, the distance and the speed travel is equal yes yes we didn't come across such terms right still we are in the beginning we are studying about motion in the next class we will discuss distance displacement definitions and then we will go for uniform and non uniform okay okay ma'am okay ma'am so let me uh, give quick revision of this today's class And ma'am, ma'am, can you have a quiz? What? Ma'am, after the revision, can you have a quiz? Quiz? So it can't be possible. So only ten minutes left. So let me give a quick recap. So we are doing after completion of uh, particular topics, right? So let me complete some basic definitions and uh, after tomorrow's class, day after tomorrow, we'll be going. We'll be having quiz. Okay. Ma'am is okay. going to give the quizzes after the chapter completes. Yes, yes. So until you don't know concept, how you are going to solve the questions, students? So first we learn the concept, then we will solve the questions. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. So before going to the motion, we have discussed some uh, kinds of objects which are at rest. Like we just recap the. Um, Uh, remind the examples like the trees and houses which are at rest ma'am ma motion and rest depends on the uh, person's view ma'am okay. yes it depends on the observer and the surroundings yes ma'am ma'am if you're sitting in a car and you look out of the window it seems like you are stopped in the trees and the surrounding is running while the person standing outside sees your in motion and he's on rest Yes, yes. So that we will tell that motion and rest are always relative. That's what the definition is. Got it? So we have used the exact term here. I mentioned rest and motion are relative. So what is motion means? Motion is change in position of an object with the time. So the motion, uh, in this. 
about study of motion generally it is included in a branch of physics which is called mechanics in this we are going to study in three different categories first one is statics statics which deals with study of object at rest whereas kinematics uh, with the object which is uh, moving but it doesn't deal with the, the cause how it is moving or which force is acting on it for the wow. moment so it won't yeah. deal with whereas dynamics along with the motion it deals with the account of the force which is causing the motion clear mm -hmm. okay. now next is we always said that uh, if the object is in motion or at rest it depends completely we will tell with respect to its surroundings isn't it and the observing point ma'am what Mama, also where you are looking at, ma'am, if you look out of the car window, you see everything is running. Sorry, behind. I can't hear you. Yeah, ma'am, now can you? Yes. Ma'am, it also depends on the perspective of how you are looking at it, ma'am. Yes. So, next, rest and motion are related to you. Next type of motions we have discussed, random means there is no particular path and the object moves on its own way. Like motion of butterflies and kites, whereas translational motion, it is. Uh, in this we have discussed linear motion which goes in a straight line and curvilinear motion which moves on a curved path. Goes in a curved path and circular motion where it goes in a circle, ma'am. Whereas circular motion is yes, it is in a circular path. Circular path. Okay. Yes, so wherever the uh, object is started, it moves around and it comes to that original, uh, the exact position. Okay, and yeah, the object remains at the same distance. So that is circular yes. motion. Yes, Next I'm one is really rotational. Mean. In rotational, what happens? Total body is getting moved. Like getting whole body moved. is moving on its own axis, like motion of the top. Rotation of the earth, this we have discussed. Next, coming to periodic, yeah. in the periodic, we will see mainly the to and fro motion. Okay, like the object moves at a particular time interval. Like example, motion of a swing, motion of simple pendulum. Motion of simple pendulum is generally called oscillatory motions. And whatever the motions it is doing, it is called generally oscillation. Clear? And at last we have seen whatever the motions we have discussed. Yeah, ma'am. Basically revision. Yes. So in the next class, everybody have to learn all these concepts. Okay, ma'am. Everybody yeah. should be clear with all the definitions. I'll ask you. Okay? Okay. Because these are the basic concepts of physics. If you learn this, only you can... Uh, Learn the hard topics also. Okay. Clear then? Let me know if you have any questions and any doubts. Yes, ma'am. 